What's up guys, it's your boy Itchy and I'm coming to you tonight with a already unboxed uh, piece of equipment for my new Hackintosh. This is an Antec 140mm uh, case fan that I'm going to be using and I like it because it has a blue LED in it and hopefully that blue won't be too off from the hyper white of my other LEDs uh, that are already in my case here which is the Corsair Carbide 500R. Uh, when you look at this particular uh, product, um, let's look at the feature list. Brilliant blue LED, two-speed switch, which I really like. Low noise, very important. And what I've been reading is that the bigger the fan, the lower the noise, which is a good thing for me. Um, all what was included in this packaging was the actual fan, which I'll get to in a second. And some screws to mount it, which I will do in a few minutes. Um, if you look here, here's my build as it sits now. Um, there is a big fan, 200 and something millimeter, I think 240 millimeter fan on the actual door. There's a 120 millimeter fan here, one, two 120 millimeter fans here. There's a 120 millimeter fan on top, and there's a 140 millimeter fan that I'm going to add, which, as you can see, is not bolted in yet. So what's going to happen with these fans is this particular fan, which is the new 140 millimeter fan that I purchased, is going to actually be pushing air down into the case. I'm going to flip this one around to have it pushing air out. So it's going to be air in, air out. I want to push a lot of air in this particular area because this is where my CPU is in the CPU cooler. Now, it may not even affect anything, but if you will, I'm just going to be pushing air down and up, down and up, down and up and hopefully it'll get caught in the whirlwind and kind of keep it um, cool. Don't know if this is going to work or not. I may end up facing both fans the same way, but for now, one will be facing down, which is the new 140. The other, the 120 millimeter fan I have will be facing up. I'll let you guys know how that works out. Now, one of the cool things about this case, what I need to mention, I don't know if I mentioned it before, is that it not only takes 120 millimeter fans, it also takes 140 natively. So I can put both fans of either size in here which is cool so let me get this thing installed and one thing I almost forgot this is the speed switch for low and high which I will leave probably dangling out of the side so I can control the speeds um, the way I want to control them let me install it hopefully get it working I'll show it to you guys in practice and we will go from there all right guys so check it out I got the the second fan installed now and it's in there really good and tight. Both fans are in there good and tight. This fan is going to be pulling air in. This fan is going to be pulling air out. The back fan with the red is pulling air out. I've got a fan on the on the power supply for that actual supply. And I've got two fans on the front. And I've got this one gigantic fan on the back here. So I've got to power it up and we'll see what we end up with. So stand by. Uh, let's try to show you. I'm going to hit the... Well, hell, I need to plug it in and turn the power on. That would work. Ugh. All right, we got power. And the build is pretty clean, by the way. If you look at everything, it's nice and neat. So we can see where everything is going. Now we can hit the power button. We've got fan. Got a second fan here, and I, I'm listening because I hear a little noise. So I'm gonna tighten this one side down. Don't want to hear that, so stand by. Let me tighten it down. So as you can see, guys, we have everything working. Both fans are working. It's got a blue light in the top. I don't necessarily mind having the blue LEDs. It's not a big deal breaker for me, um, per se but everything is working. I'm probably going to actually disable it because I don't have a light on the other one and it just looks a little odd. But everything else seems to be working the way it's supposed to. Um, all the fans are functional and we have a functional screen to type on. So yeah, that's cool. So that's all I got for this one, guys. 140 millimeter fan install. So I'm fully loaded on fans, at least for now. I may add some more later. Um, I'm probably going to go in here and put one on this hard drive cage and that's probably going to be it. 
because I want maximum cooling. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what kind of fans you're rocking in your Hackintosh. And I'll see you later. Thanks.